Hey there everybody, it's Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. I'm sitting here in my office on a beautiful Sunday morning and want to show you how I can use this from here to control this at home. It's pretty cool, so let's go check it out. Okay, so let's walk through the Android app for Nest. There is an iOS app and an unofficial Windows Phone app. Uh, the iOS and Android look exactly the same, so I'm just going to show it to you here. And there's my thermostat. Now, if I had more than one, it would show up here, but I only have one. You see, I called it living room. So let's just go to that, and you can see my heat set to 70, and that's it. It's that simple. So we're done. See it? No, kidding. So you have a bunch of options here. Uh, you can get to your account settings if you want. You can basically do everything you need to do from the Nest app on the phone. It's really, really nicely done. So let's go back to the thermostat itself. If I want to raise the heat, it's pretty simple, right? There's my little leaf saying, right now I'm saving energy, but if I don't want to save energy and I want to turn the heat up, let's turn it up a little bit more, see if we can get it to kick on here. Again, I'm in my office, right? Uh, it's gonna you know, turn it on and there it goes. So the heat just kicked on in the house, I can tell because the thermostat turned orange. I can turn it back down by just pushing down. That easy. You got a lot of options here. Um, if you want to go from, say, heat to cool, you do it right here. You can turn the unit off entirely if you want. Uh, the fan timer, this is kind of neat. So once it heats the house, it will keep the fan on itself but turn off the heating element. Uh, I'll show you that here in a second. Here's my energy history. So this is how long the unit has been on throughout the day. Uh, kind of interesting. You can see when we're definitely all gone for work. And on the weekends, it's on a little longer or somebody stops by the house. Schedule, so this shows me what the temperature was set at at various points in the day. And, ooh, nice little landscape action going on in the app there. Again, it's a really nicely done app, so no complaints from me there whatsoever. Uh, let's flip it back over. And thermostat settings. So here's where you get a whole lot of options. It's almost a little overwhelming. It is very nicely laid out, but there's a whole lot going on here. So you can label your nest whatever you want. Call it anything. Uh, you can tell it what room of your house it's in. That kind of gives it an idea of maybe how big the room is or if it's going to be kind of a drafty area. You can set the away temperature. So this is important. Those are the two extremes, how hot or how cold I want my house to get if I'm not there uh, when it realizes that I'm away. Here's nest sense. So here's where you can tell if it's learning, if it's ready to go, so auto away, it's all set. It can tell when I've left the house. Uh, it knows if there's direct sunlight on it. Uh, it knows you know, how long it will take it to actually heat up, and that's time to temperature. Uh, so here's the fan thing I was talking about. So it will keep the fan on for an extra 15 minutes after it has reached that uh, temperature that it wants to get to. So just kind of spread the warmer, cool air around. Uh, here's the equipment. So it, the Nest is smart, right? It can tell where the wires are plugged in, see if something's wrong. Uh, you get all this technical information. So it's it's pretty smart in that regard. Uh, let's see what else. It can remind you to change your air filter if you want. So really, really good stuff there. There's the technical information on the Nest itself. All self-contained in this app. So Nest has done a really, really good job. Uh, if you want, you can also remove it or lock it so somebody else can't get in and change things on you. If for some reason the app isn't your thing, here's Nest on the web. So this is a web browser. Looks exactly like the app. And you can also see what the weather's like outside. Nest knows these things, right? It knows, hey, it's cold outside. I want to keep the house a little bit warmer today. And you can see you can do all the same stuff that you can do on the app just in a web browser, which is really nice to have if you don't want to pull out your phone. Maybe you forgot your phone, uh, but it looks and acts exactly the same. So there's a quick look at how to control your Nest from, well, anywhere in the world. It's really cool. See ya.